All right, yo, peeps, what's going on? Chess Moist. I'm going to bring in a commentary. Today, we're going to be flying some planes in Battlefield 5. So I got some gameplay of planes here. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you guys do, then please drop a like on this video because that would tremendously help me out. This is my third commentary today, but you guys will not get this video until tomorrow because I already uploaded two today. So that's enough for today. I will upload this one tomorrow, but I'm going to get it done. I'm going to get it uploaded so it's out of my way for now. And uh, yeah, so that would tremendously help me out if you can do that. I'm going to be going over some of my thoughts on the planes in the Battlefield 5 and what I think of them and how they're not as good as they are in Battlefield 1. And a lot of you guys will probably think that's a good thing and uh, a lot of people might think that's kind of a bad thing, especially for the pilots because me personally, I, make it to, I made it to rank 1 in Canada uh, for pilots in uh, Battlefield 1, but... You know, I don't want any props for that because they made it pretty easy. It was not, they're not hard to fly in Battlefield 1 and it's really, they were kind of ridiculous towards ground infantry and stuff like that. So that being said, Battlefield 5, what are they? These planes almost do not belong in this game. Um, they're not fun. Um, that's the best way I can put it. I flew around in planes and I just was not having fun. I found it kind of boring. Um, you know, I couldn't see ground targets. I couldn't really help my team grab flags. You know, it was more like I was in the air for something like 20, 26 minutes. And I cut this down for 10 minutes for you guys. So, you know, I this was all in the one life of me flying. And I can't believe I was flying for 20 something minutes. And these are all the planes I killed. Every kill that you guys see are all the planes I killed in that amount of time. So, terrible. It's <laughs> absolutely terrible. Um, as for ground targets, dropping bombs and stuff like that, yeah, I have gotten a couple kills, but you can't mark targets, so you really have no idea where they are. So you got to wait till a, till a flag bleeds a little bit so you know what flag they're on, and then let your bombs loose there. But... Uh, overall, man, the planes in this game, the dogfights, just terrible. I honestly think that the planes just go way too slow. I think that they just do not belong in in Battlefield 5 unless they, they need to speed up the planes is what they need to do. They need to make the planes go like a hundred times faster. And I'm not lying about that because dogfights in this game it is really really easy to stay on someone's tail so pretty much if you have somebody on your tail have fun trying to lose them unless you have a f have a squad mate helping you out in another plane because it's really difficult to lose people in this game lose people off your tail because the planes just go way too slow so i think it's 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 like a it's like um it's almost like two flying turtles up in the sky you know what I mean like you just can't lose them you just go so slow and it's just it's just ridiculous so I really think that they need to do something with the planes they need to give them a buff and I don't mean buff towards infantry or towards ground vehicles I just mean a speed boost that's pretty much all they need to make it a lot better either than that they do not belong in this I have no fun flying these planes at all they just go wait like look at this look how slow that guy is going like he should not be going that slow and another thing is they should not make it so easy for the pilots to jump out now this was an issue in battlefield one you had a lot of people using planes as taxis and i really think that now is the opportunity to fix that issue um, because it, it's really annoying. It's really annoying when you're on someone's tail and you're just about to finish them, but they just jump out. Or, you know, if they just use it as a taxi, you know, and they kind of just use it to get to the other side of the map, to the other side of the flag, and then and then they just jump out. I mean, it's really bad. And they need to... I, I think this game would be a lot better if they fixed the issue. It's It, it was always an issue but not as big of an issue as Battlefield 1, and it's going to happen this game as well. The planes are nothing that are going to be doing a lot of damage, so a lot of people are going to be just using the planes as taxis. 
Um, and, and you know, it's bad because a pilot, like, you can spawn on your squad mates when they're on the ground, right? So all they have to do is pretty much just jump out on the other side of the map and then all their squad mates can spawn on them, you know? So they need to do something with that. You know, this guy jumps out, go figure. A lot of pilots still jump out, but they need to... I know that they slowed it down just a little bit, but I think that they need to fix it so they they, they pull out a lot slower. Um, just so when you do get them down, um, that they that you at least have the opportunity to kill them. Because right now they can pretty much instantly jump out. Especially when they're flying around, you know, and they're putting in damage. And then you finally get determined to go kill them. And then you finally end up getting them. And then they just jump out anyway. So it's kind of like, oh god. And then, and then sometimes they don't even pair their, to pull their parachute so they kill themselves just so they can spawn in another plane. <laughs> you know? Like, there is people that play that way. There really, really is. So, you know, I think that the planes in this game just need to be sped up. They need to slow down the amount of time it takes for a pilot to jump out of the plane. Uh, just to reduce people from using them as taxis as much. Uh, either than that, ground infantry, now I can understand that they didn't want to return the planes like they were in Battlefield 1 and just make planes just crap on every tank and every infantry soldier out there that they spot. You know, and I, I, I agree with that. You know, I'm not, I'm not disagreeing with that because, face it, Battlefield 1 I used to just get in planes just to decimate snipers that were camping up on hills. I mean, that was my only objective is to kill the campers. You know, and it worked like a charm. It really did. Um, but they need to make it somehow where you can spot enemies in this game. Because what if there is snipers, you know, way up on the mountain, which, you know, they have kind of reduced that, I think, in a lot of game meta that they ended up putting in this game. If you guys don't know what I mean, I made a commentary earlier about snipers, and you guys can go check that out. I'll put a annotation at the end of this video for that video, so you guys can go check that out. I don't think that it's going to be as big as an issue as Battlefield 1 was with the snipers, um, but I just, I just, I just don't, I think that pilots should at least, you know, have some kind of vision when it comes to ground infantry and I don't mean like everybody and everything I just mean that like the people just sitting laying down on a hill you know those people would be really great to see because uh, people really blend in with the environments in this game and when you're in the sky that far away it is so hard you can just see me just spraying down on flags I have no idea where people are so I just spray and pray pretty much uh, the only Planes are good for plane on plane, but when it comes to flags, you can't really help out. The best you can do is drop flares for them. Yes, you can drop some bombs, um, but honestly, the bombs in this, this game, I, I have got a couple kills, but nothing super special, if that makes sense. So they're not going to be like dropping bombs on a flag and just clearing out that entire flag. But if they do drop a bomb near you, then yes, they should kill you. But then again, if you're inside a building or... You know, if you have some kind of cover, you know, then that should go towards your advantage. Um, but if you're just out in the open and somebody drops a bomb right on you, yes, you should die, honestly. Uh, but either than that, that's, that's pretty much where I stand when it comes to planes. I just do not enjoy it as much as I should. I love flying planes in battlefields or helicopters, etc. But this game, I was just not feeling it whatsoever. And if I finally get taken out here at the end but um, you know I end up killing whoever was on my tail I think it was this guy or or the, the the people on the AA guns were actually shooting at me as well you guys will see like me take some damage from the AA guns but you know they end up getting me I finally got an AA gun on me and a plane on me and they finally kill me but I mean like 26 minutes of me flying around maybe took out seven eight planes if and, you know, it's just, that's it. No infantry on this gameplay. I didn't take out one soldier. And I didn't really help my team whatsoever. I dropped a couple of flares, and that was pretty much about it. So, you know, kind of boring. I think I would rather be on the ground if the planes are going to stay this way because they're just not fun. Um, I think that if they sped them up, it would make the dogfighting a lot better. You could actually lose people and stuff like that. Um, and you can you can you can do some flanking maneuvers on them, but right now as it stands, you just can't do it. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy. If you guys do, then please drop a like button. Till next time, peace.